Through your breath, you can either upregulate or you can downregulate. If you want to upregulate, breathe hard and fast, and especially a fast exhalation. So when you breathe in fast through the nose or through the mouth and breathe out fast through the nose or mouth, you stress the body. The second way to upregulate would be to do long breath holds. So hyperventilation and long breath holds are stressors to the body. They cause you to upregulate. Stressing the body with controlled doses can be very effective in causing the body to make adaptations. And those adaptations can be beneficial, including improved immune responses. However, the doses need to be controlled. Like everything else, there is a balance. Don't overdo it. And for some of you, you need to go easier than others. For some of you, it's not about upregulating, but it's about downregulating. And if you want to downregulate, the whole objective here is to slow down your breathing and to breathe less air. So if you think of the breath itself, when you breathe in fast and out fast, you stress the body. When you breathe in soft and you breathe out nice and slow, you bring the body and mind into relaxation. These are two simple tools that you can use whether you want to upregulate your body or whether you want to downregulate.